From San Francisco, California, this is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. Welcome to an episode of the Lonely Kayaker. Jacksonville, Florida edition. I'm out in my stepdad's little pelican kayak in the intercoastal waterway at Marsh Landing. Thought I would just take you out a little bit of fishing with Butler. So far I've caught, well I got up at 5.45 this morning and went and got some live bait from the bait store. And the guy told me to get um, mud minnows and, and blue crab. Well, I've thrown some mud minnows out. I've caught a small redfish so far and a couple of mullets. I'm going to get over here by the grass so that I can park it in the grass. There's a couple other kayakers over there by the bridge. I don't want to inter- intrude on their spot, so I'm going to get over here by the grass <coughs> and park the kayak here and throw the line out and see what happens. Dave Slusher, you asked for this. It could be boring, but I'm going to let this roll for a little while and see what happens. So I'm going to park my, the back of the kayak here. I got a line out in the water now, which I should probably bring in. I got a jig head on one of the rod reels and a sliding sinker Carolina rig on the other. There's, I lost that bait, so I could have gotten a bite. I wasn't paying attention, so in all possibility, I could have gotten one. So let me park my, the back end of this kayak right here. I think maybe I'll go into this cove just a little bit. I miss having the pedals Hobie out with, but I'll make do with what I got. All right. Now a little bit farther in the cove. Trying to fish with two rods has never worked out for me, so I think I'm going to need to leave one in the boat and throw out this sliding sinker Carolina rig. Out here they may call it a fish finder rig. I don't know. It's a sliding sinker with a circle hook on it, and I'm going to put some live minnows on it. Let me back the boat up here. Let's see what happens. All right, the boat is the butt of the boat is parked. Pull the bait bucket in. I have a Yeti knockoff Walmart 20 ounce water bottle, and one thing I've found out, I had. Two. One of them was a uh, had powder coated paint on it, and the other one's like a shiny paint. One thing I've noticed that the one with the shiny paint, you put ice in it, and it gets condensation on the outside of it, and you, the ice melts. The powder coat, the ice does not melt. So, and I lost the powder coat one in the keys. So I have warm iced tea with me, a warm tea. I'm gonna find one of these mud minnows. I'm almost out of them, fuck. I bought two dozen this morning. All right. Mud minnow on this hook throw this thing out and see what happens. On the jig head, I was trying to get flounder. That's what the guy told me, put mud minnows on the jig head and you catch flounder, but 
I have not gotten any. All I've gotten was the mullet on the jig head because I think it's staying high on the top. I don't think it's a big enough jig head. Right, so I'll leave the fish finder out there for a little while. Pull in my other rod. By a bridge here, there's lots of traffic, Sunday traffic coming by. I hope I can catch a fish while I got you on the line here, friends. And I'll just slowly reel the Carolina rig in. There's oyster beds on the bottom of this uh, water body of water. Sometimes your line gets caught up. It's about 30 minutes past high tide, so they sh this should be the time that they're biting. Redfish is a slot fish. It's, it has to be over 18 inches and below seven, 27 inches. The one I caught was about 12 inches. I'm not too good at casting this thing from the seated position in the kayak. I don't usually cast in California. I just usually drop it. I've seen guys casting, but I have never done it in, Florida, in California. Slowly reeling it in. See what happens. Come on, fish. Fish gods, fish gods in the intercoastal waterway. Give me some fish so I can eat dinner today. All right. All right, I'm gonna pause this, and if I get a fish on, I will turn it back on. Otherwise, I'll say some parting words as I'm heading in. No, no luck in that spot. So I'm gonna get closer to these guys and they're fishing under the bridge. Maybe they know more than I do. And if they tell me to get the fuck out and look away from them, I will get away from them. John's right there, he pulled up near me. There's mullet jumping everywhere, which they always do here. Something big got my line. You're using the jig head? Yeah. No, yeah, well, it took the other one. Huh? It took the one with the sinker on it. It took the sliding sinker one. Yeah, whatever it was out there, the line went bow, 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 and then, and then it went over with nothing. What if it was dragging an oyster bed? I'm going to go closer to these guys and see if they tell me to get lost. Oh, they're coming this way. One of the guys is. Oh, he's got a Hobie. This guy's got a Hobie. into the grass here. Looks like he's got an outback. Older outback, like mine. My old one. A little minnow on here. He's about dead though. All right, friends. 
pause. I'll pause this and check back in. Well, still out here, no bites. Here comes John. I got like one minnow left. Then I'm gonna head, after I finish, run out of bait, I'm gonna start working my way back in. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. A little, little laughter there. All right. I'm gonna start paddling back in. Kind of a somewhat of a skunk. Oh, not a complete skunk. I got I did not come out. I mean, I got a small redfish and a couple of mullet. I'm gonna fish with my last minnow and paddle back and troll this new last minute and see maybe something will maybe something will hit it we'll see let me get on the other side of my pole here all right well oh fuck i'm all tangled up should only use one line I got a fucking cluster fuck here. All right, cluster fuck averted. Well, not completely yet. Oh, well, this concludes this episode of the Lonely Kayaker. Thank you for joining me. I do have a website, lonelykayaker.fish, but I have not posted anything to it, so I really wouldn't go there. I would go to rockandrollgeek.com for these dog days of podcasting episodes. All right, finally got the, the clusterfuck off. Send me an email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com with the subject line, Butler, keep the Lonely Kayaker episodes coming because even though you're not catching anything, we like hearing an idiot on a kayak. Put that in the subject line, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. All right. Find me on the Facebook, r, &R Geek. Find me on the Twitter, r, &R Geek. Find me on the Instagram, rockandrollgeek. Don't ask. I'm going to spin the iTunes wheel. I don't know what it's going to be. I'll pause it right now and uh, see what I can find, and I'll let you know what it is. Okay, I spun the iTunes wheel, and up came Susie Quattro, a song called Devil Gate Drive. So thank you for joining me, friends. I will talk to you soon. This has been The Lonely Kayaker from... Marsh Landing in Jacksonville, Florida on the Dog Days of Podcasting, dogdaysofpodcasting.com. Here's Susie Quattro.
Sorry, friends. The professionalism does not stop. Take two. Welcome to the dive. Oh my god, a shark! Oh shit! Oh my god, a giant alligator! Get out of here! Take that, alligator! Ugh, motherfucker! Teach him to screw with me! Oh no, it's a swamp bear! Heading my way! Oh, get out of here! I bet if I tried, I could stand up in this pelican kayak. Oh shit! Oh! Ah! Close call. Oh my god, it's a mermaid. Hello there, mermaid. Well, yes, I would like one of those. Thank you. Let me uh, whip this out. It's a rocky, rocky train wreck.